I'm Rachel Moore. Right now on your 13 Action News update, a golden salute for a Silver State hero. Today, former Senator Harry Reid was honored at a memorial service. Speakers included some of the top leaders in Washington, including President Joe Biden and former President Barack Obama. He was always unfailingly himself. That may not sound exceptional, but in Washington, it is an exceedingly rare quality. On Wednesday, Senator Reid will lie in state at the U.S. Capitol Rotunda. And Nevada has set another daily record for reported cases on COVID. According to the Southern Nevada Health District, there were 6,100 new cases reported in the last day. Our previous daily record was fewer than 4,000. There were also 15 new deaths reported, which brings the COVID death toll in Nevada to 6,544. Officials are urging people to get vaccinated. And a power outage at the Aria. Some of the systems were down for about an hour Saturday afternoon. Video from a viewer shows black screens on the slot machines and some dealers were unable to use their shuffling machines and other electronics. No word yet from the casino on what caused the outage. Some mild and cool conditions expected over the next seven days for Southern Nevada. We'll see those overnights fall into the upper 30s and low 40s before hitting upper 50s for tomorrow. Clouds starting to build back in Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday, expecting partly cloudy skies and a very slim 10% chance of maybe even a few raindrops for our region. That chance doubles for our local mountains, so be on the lookout for that 20% rain snow chance for Mount Charleston, maybe even portions of Red Rock. Our overnights continue to fall into the 40s and will stay in the upper 50s and low 60s through the rest of the week. That was your 13 Action News update. You can get the latest news at KTMV.com.